Hello, my name is Shalendra Chaudhary and in this video, I'll show how to deploy Azure Container Registry, which is called ACR and then integrate it with the AKS cluster. So in the previous video, I have already created an AKS cluster and that AKS cluster was provided access using the service principle. So in this video, I'm going to create Azure Container Registry using the Terraform code and then assign the ACR pool access to the same service principle on the Azure Container Registry. Once access is provided, AKS cluster can pull the images directly from the ACR for the deployments. So let's start with the Terraform code, which I have created. So this is the same repo AKS Terraform, which I used last time. So I have made slight changes here. Now all the code, which was deployed last time, I have put it in the folder AKS and for the ACR, I've created a new folder and created a Terraform code. So if we'll go to the main.tf. First, we are getting information about the Azure Key Vault, which was already deployed in the previous video. So this is the Azure Key Vault, which we are going to use. So if we'll go to the secrets in this Azure Key Vault, you can see there are three secrets. And for now, we'll just focus on SPN ID, which is the client ID of the service principal. So now let's go back to the code. Once the information of the Key Vault is fetched, then this code will look for the value of the SPN ID secret. Once this value is fetched, that is provided to the Azure AD service principle, where the ID of the service principle will be used for providing access. So if we'll go to the resource section, first of all, it's creating the Azure container registry, the name resource group, and the location is provided in the variables. We are just selecting the basic SKU for now and admin enable it's true. It will use the username and password to log in. So for the role assignment, this is a simple ACR pull role so that AKS can pull the images from the ACR. And we are using the same service principle, which was used to create the AKS cluster. So that means once that service principle is provided ACR pull access, then automatically ACR will integrate to AKS. Now let's go to variables. So these are the variables defined where we are looking for the value of key vault resource group, key vault name, and the key vault secret name, which we, which is defined here, which is SP and ID ACR name, resource group name, and the resource group location. All these values are provided in the TF was file. So this is the key vault resource group, key vault name, key vault secret name, and resource group, resource group location. So finally, this is the name of the ACR. So to provide a unique name, I've added some suffix values. So let's deploy this Terraform template using the Azure pipeline. Let's go to Azure pipeline, the same project we are going to use YouTube app service. We'll go to the pipeline. So this time let's create a folder first. I'll create ACR folder and then I'll create a pipeline in it. So it's easy to find the pipeline using the folders. I will go to this folder, create a new pipeline. I will go to the GitHub. The name of the repo is AKS Terraform. Let's select that. Let's create a startup pipeline. So first thing I don't want the code to trigger once there is a change in the GitHub. So I'll make it as none trigger as none for the pool. I'm selecting as the default, which is Azure hosted agent. And let's remove the steps and add the Terraform steps. First Terraform step is initialize. There'll be slight change in the configuration directory. If we'll go to the repo, then you can see there are two different folders, AKS and ACR. And we want to select particularly ACR because so all the Terraform files are present here for the ACR. So what we have to do is we have to specify the location slash ACR. Let's uncheck this. We don't want the telemetry collection and add. So before adding the new task, let me add the display name Terraform in it. So this is the initialization step. So another one will be plan. Same here. We have to provide the location ACR and check this. 
and for the provider we have to provide the service connection youtube app service connection which we have created let's add this again add the display name terraform plan and one last step terraform apply ACR, uncheck this, same service connection, add, display name, Terraform apply. Let's save this. It's creating a pipeline now. Perfect. It has created a pipeline. Let's wait for the agent to start the job. The Terraform is initializing. The plan step is completed. There will be two resources to be added. One is ACR and another one is role assignment. It's creating the ACR now. And then it will assign the role. Cool. ACR is created now. Now the role assignment is happening. So the deployment is complete. Pipeline is successful. Let's go to Azure and check the resources created. So this is the container registry which is created. Right now repository is blank because we haven't uploaded any image. If we'll go to the access control, role assignments, you can see lab shell in the, the service principle has the role of AC Apple. And this is the same service principle which is used by AKS. So that means so AKS can pull images from the ACR. You can ignore this one because we are using the same service principle for the AKS as well as the pipeline. Because using the pipeline, we need the owner level of access everywhere so that we can deploy any resource. So that's why. Otherwise, so if we would have deployed the AKS with a different service principle, then the service principle for the ACR pool will be different here. This is all for this video. The plan for the next video is to run a Docker Compose and create an image, upload that image into Azure Container Registry, and then finally pull the image from ACR and deploy an application into AKS cluster. I'll be uploading the video soon. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.